Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim and welcome back, of course, to Battlefleck Gothic Armada 2. We're playing the Imperial Campaign and uh, we're due to be attacked in a couple of turns. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yay, Eldar. Mm-hmm, that's great. That's annoying. That's really annoying. That's... It's really annoying. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Okay, so we're gonna be attacked by the Elder in three turns here. That that is that's fine, right? That's fine. Uh we'll need to get you up here. And this fight is gonna be it's gonna be tough. We're gonna be fighting from behind. This, on the other hand. One turn. It's... how much is that? Almost a thousand points? Okay, we're gonna be fighting from behind. Really, really fighting from behind. Right. Let's think about what we can do. The Necrons are the one big issue here, because we are massively outgunned by them. You can afford 224. Which means they're not the Strike Cruiser Mark 1, which sucks, because that's a really good ship. You can afford a little bit less. One, two, three. Okay, both fleets can get over here. I think we'll give you the new ship just because you've got the extra movement buff. You've got Voidwind's expert. Right. What do we want to go for? Could go for the strike cruiser here. Could go for a light cruiser. I think we go for the strike cruiser. Now here's the main reason. The boarding damage. Cruisers do 8 to 12. You do only 4 to 6. We need as much boarding damage as possible. That's what we're going to try and do against the Necron. So... We could go for the cheapest one, on the basis that it still does the same. Fire six projectiles, inflict 90. Do you have boarding torpedoes? You do. This changes matters. Bombardment cannon, macro cannon. So we trade out the heavy lance. Yeah, okay, you're cheaper as well. Sure, okay, right. Now, where do we want to spend our extra points? We could spend them defending against the Chaos Incursion in Nemesis Tessera. Uh, let's look at the Agrippina Sector. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we can deal with that. It's 800 versus our 1,100. And it's two turns time. Ideally, I'd actually want it this turn so we can get it out of the way. Because otherwise we might have someone like, attack us in a couple of turns afterwards. Let's look at Nemesis Tessera. We could delay this fight. I'm not sure what we'd actually get by delaying the fight. I don't think there'd be anything really to our advantage here. They are sending a 1,000 points worth. Um... Gonna say we try and get more Mechanica ships. Oh crap, we can't afford cruisers because uh, we don't have 
the ability to build cruisers in the sector. We could build a fleet here. Just recruit someone. And abilities are great. That's actually a really good point. Abilities are really useful. Only like cruisers though. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't like any of these choices. What's that? A codominator. The mark ship is disabled. It cannot move, shoot, or use any abilities except rally and current speed for the next 10 seconds. So it can only be used against a ship with a destroyed deck. It then paralyzes them for 10 seconds unless they rally or encouraging speech, in which case it breaks. That's very niche. That's really niche. Destroyed decks are not that common, and they tend to happen when you've already wrecked the ship anyway, and it, what, disables them for 10 seconds? So you can, you know, presumably hit them with Nova Cannons or Plasma Bombs. But it's so niche. It's really niche. I, I'm actually going to go on record and say that this ability is terrible. As it currently stands, I don't see a point in this ability. That's so niche. A destroyed deck. That's not a damage deck. That's a destroyed deck. <laughs> you might say it's a bit of a deck move. Uh, I apologize. I feel really bad about saying that. Uh, you are not great. I don't really want to recruit you. We could go something boring, like, um, um, you know what, actually. They're attacking us with 1,150 1, points. We have defense platforms. Oh, we're going to need something extra. Are you at max? Yeah. How many escorts you got? Couple. Okay. Macro, Lance. Took by the firestorm. What's the real difference between the saw, the Firestorm and the Nova? None of the stats change. Ah, speed. You're slightly faster. Yeah, we'll go Firestorm, and I think we'll get, like, two Firestorms. Right, we'll confirm that. We're gonna need to rename these ships, so this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting turn. Implacable Kyle, the implacable Kyle, uh, along with Yan Yan's wisdom. I hope Yan Yan. We're still gonna be fighting from behind on that. This, this turn is the turn that's going to make a difference, right? If we can fight this and win, and win without getting everything trashed, I think we'll be okay for the next few turns, and that should allow us to move forwards. If we lose, or if we get a lot trashed, we're going to be in real trouble. Now oh, we need to rename your ship, don't we? Great Endurance. Actually, we'll make that uh, Great Aeon. This is going to be... I'm actually slightly prevaricating. I'm trying to put it off. I know we can't put off the next turn. Like, you can't do that. But damn. Uh, we're going to get Strike Cruiser Mark 2 because of the boarding thing. Um, and the boarding torpedoes. 
Do we want one or two to be our... Oh, yeah, obviously we want one to be our flagship. Okay. Okay. And this is Protector of Back Demon. Sounds like heresy. Mm. Okay. I've really prevaricated over this. But it needs to be done. End turn. Hi. Hi there. They outnumber us on points by 200. That's a 20% increase in points for them. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. And again, like you might be saying, oh, you know, you can win this fight. It's not winning the fight. It's coming out the fight with enough forces that we can then crush the other fights and not have to sit around regenerating for a long time or not get killed in the next fight because we're injured. We have to not quite comprehensively win, but we have to solidly win. Right. One, two, three, four. It's Cruiser Clash. Don't know if that's good or not. Give us purpose. Underway. Okay. If you can run silent, run silent. Otherwise, go to brace. Prepare for impact. They have fighters inbound. Yeah, we should be fine here. Yeah, no issue. Now, remember a few things. Firstly, they can teleport, so... We're going to expect them to do that. Thank you for demonstrating it. And we're relying on getting 100% into just a sheer, like, boarding action. Hello. Plasma bomb. Where shall we strike? Oh, disruption bomb. We need to get a good boarding action going, and I think we've got you. Nice. Fleeing. Here we go. Why did you use your star pulse? That's pointless. Where should we strike? Okay. Uh, get some fighters up. And that's a boarding action. Right. Time to board. Who is who is our torpedo person? Stand ready. Three. I can't see your torpedoes. Oh, there we go. Show us the enemy. Launch Thunderhawks. Enemy in sight. Right, go. Moving to position. Engine damage, a good start. You guys go this way. Where shall we strike? Our rock cannot be denied. Drifting Hulk. Yes. Damage. Show us the enemy. Brace, ram. Okay, maybe you shouldn't have rammed. You are a bigger ship. That is a cruiser. We killed that cruiser. That's a battle cruiser. We stand ready. Enemy in sight. Okay. Uh, plasma bomb. Here. Give us purpose. Okay, that's detonating. Everyone get out of here. 
you're going to need to move faster. Org disruption. You're just outside the field. Excellent. You, on the other hand, get the hell out of being right next to that guy. In fact, uh, I can't get you out of here. You're dead. Right, well, that happens. Um... Start the boarding. I'm actually going to get you to just go to the edge of the board. Show us the enemy. We stand ready. All power to engines. Give us purpose. Right. Boarding is underway. Show us the enemy. I'm gonna drop plasma there. We stand ready. And they stopped. I'm being way too careful with my plasma. I need to be a bit more aggressive with it. Thunderhawk. Launch Thunderhawks. Boost. You want to get the hell out of dodge. Repositioning. Oh, and they repositioned. Hi. Where shall we strike? Can we get a boarding? No. Where shall we strike? Oh, you're on red. Excellent. We'll actually just leave you on red. Destroyed. It's a good start. Get some fighters up. Organ disruption bomb. Give us purpose. Repair. Oh god, they're gonna get mur you're gonna get murdered by fighters. Where we are needed. Well, bombers. I don't see you surviving this. I'm listening. Falling torpedoes. Give us purpose. Falling successful. Drifting Hulk. Right, let's take out this dude, because, you know, so do you. If we leave you back here, we'll be okay. Are you still alive? Give us purpose. Ugh, ish. You might get lucky. Hold course. Fighters out. 11 HP. Our fighters are gonna get minced. Okay. We stand ready. If you choose to detonate, I think we might be dead. Unless we do like an emergency warp jump, and I'm not sure that'll be done in time. Well, balls, I think this might be the end for this cruiser. You know what I said about needing to win this, like, decisively. We stand ready. Yeah, we're going to have to start getting into warp jump. You'll be too damaged even if you do survive. Ah, uh, yeah, died. Okay, that's one down. Underway. Boarding action. It will be destroyed. Boarding Hi there. Launch Thunderhawks. Show us the enemy. I'm gonna go running silent. The idea being that hopefully we can just Move hide. Because they're coming towards us. Which I, I don't like. Me. Again, for obvious reasons. Uh, 
Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All head full. You can get in close. Where shall we strike? Standard speed engaged. Really? One? One troop? Engines engaged. Launch Thunderhawks. We stand ready. Okay, boarding with the Thunderhawks. You got this. Ow. 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 I haven't really had a chance to use my supercharged void shield either. Where shall we strike? Okay, boarding. This might be it. I should appeal you away in case it is. Yes, it is. Drifting Hulk. New vector of knowledge. I'm going to deliberately try and avoid being nuked in the explosion. Because that will be bad. You're not sod it. Launch You're getting boarded. Yep, they did it. All power to engines. Underway. Show us the enemy. Engines engaged. Full speed. Right, burn. Here we go. For where we are needed. Boarding torpedoes. I am listening. Everyone get in like nice and close. Repair if you have to repair. Board if you have to board. Bomb if you have to bomb. Do whatever you have to do. Successful Drifting Hulk. It's just his escort now. One left. Go lock on. Come on. You can kill the escort. There we go. Okay. Bloody. Not the worst. Think we did relatively well considering we're coming from behind. We lost one ship. Admittedly, it was a cruiser. That said a lot of damage. It's going to really depend on the distribution. Okay. Ultimately, this looks decent. It means that this force is pretty much intact to go fight the Eldar. Back Demon, new, died, did a good service. Ramatharu, just about survived. A lot of criticals there. Some criticals here, but ultimately you are going to be relatively okay to go fight the Eldar. Right, we're only behind by 100 points. 10th uh, and 1st World Bearers. After this, we hope to then go to their system. So, trying to save up as much as we can in terms of health, because we want to be able to immediately go and attack them. Maybe not next turn, but certainly the turn after. And they have defenses, so we're going to need to be... We're going to need to be fighting our best here. Let's do it. Oh. It's really, this is the episode that I was, it comes down to crunch time here. We've had a few episodes where we could, we could flat out lose if they go poorly, maybe. Um, this is the first episode where I think it will go well if we crush it, and it will probably go very badly if we fail. I don't think we've had an episode that's quite so binary. Right, it's not point capture, which is a shame. Uh, we'll want to make Kelsey engage around here then. We have 
a lot of stuff to deal with. You are one. You are two. Three. Actually, I'll put you on three because you've got abilities. Four. Sadly, this now happens. Ugh, I hate this. I can't see what the ships are. I know the pips are like, right, two pips is a light cruiser, three pips is a cruiser. But I need to know what the actual ships are at a glance, and I can't. Ugh. I've got space on my screen, mate. Maybe give me a toggle to, like, collapse certain things or whatever. As it stands. Ugh. Right, you're six. You're six. You're seven. I'm slightly hoping a few get killed so the view can go back to normal. Uh, right. One here. Two here. Three here. Four here. Actually, three can go here. Because you've got the ability to rad tempest. Creates a radiation tempest in a 2.5k... Radius and a maximum distance of 13.5k. Radiation deals 20 damage per second to any ship, ignoring armor. The radiation tempest lasts for 45 seconds. Okay. So, that's the first ability we've actually had in the game that's an ongoing damage effect. Everything else has been, well, other than, like, creating fires, everything else has been a, you create it, it does a fire. Um, where is your speed? There. 16. Oh. 160. Yeah. You are the slowest thing we've got by far. Yeah, your cruiser speed. As a light cruiser, you're not the slowest we've got. You're the joint slowest we've got. And as a light cruiser, that sucks. Right. Six here. Actually, six here because six is damaged. Seven. Here. Ready. Aye, Admiral. Course engaged. If you can, run silent, run silent. If you can't run silent, go... Lock on for now. We can change that in a minute. What have we got in the way of fighters? Claren, the light cruiser, has... Ugh, some. Everything has torpedoes except for Claren. Wow, okay. It's going to be torpedo spam, which is fine. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Oh, they've got so many. Hi, Admiral. They're already starting to go into circle mode. Yeah, they can wreck those so quick. It's going to be very painful. Ship ready. Okay. Light Engage cruiser engines. come this way to join in. It's a shame we can't rad tempest. You know, we could probably rad tempest if we teleport in. Puts you in a very dangerous position. You guys come this Your way. Orders? You go that way with them. Setting and I want the cruisers to go down the center. Bulkheads failing. A defense platform. We right. serve. You target that one. We serve. We wait your command. That looks like Yeah, that's a cruiser. Maybe maybe a battle cruiser, we can't tell. So I'm probably going to angle you this way. We should also go through and tell everyone be close range. Except for you guys. Initiate emergency repairs. Keep you marked. Enemy 
Right, what are you? Sword class cruiser. Okay, we have our first pick. Sword class cruiser. Hi there. Heading acknowledged. Um, I'll let the bombers do their thing. I think Rad Tempest here is going to be a good call. We'll send some bombers at you. Starhawks engaging. I am We can't take much more. And let's drop some torpedoes down on your face. And there we go. That's a very pretty red tempest right there. Less so when it's just passes straight into the front of the ship. I was kind of hoping it'd be some translucency. Right. One of you is going to have to ping because there is a ship hiding here. That is a Kanji class cruiser. And that is a Hellbringer. You are well out of your league. Back away. The spirits obey. How are we doing on this side? We wait your command. We serve. Heading acknowledged. Engaging. Taking heavy damage. I Admiral. Okay, so far. Might as well scan before you die. Right, that blew up. Great. That's a Styx class. You can tell because of the double bays. No other Chaos ship has the double bay set up. Right, get ready. Target locked in. I want you to burn. Maximum burn. I'm going to chase them down. You, repair, get rid of that fire. And I want you to go into a stern chase versus that light hellbringer thingamabob. Light cruiser. This is going to be messy. I mean, it's already pretty messy, but it's, it's going to get worse. What I think we might do is get you to come across and break this formation up. We serve. Brace for impact. Brace You're going to ram. Cruising speed set. Execute high energy turn. I'm going to spin you. Coordinates acknowledged. Turn. Torpedoes out. There. Right, good start. Torpedoes out. We'll also probably want a plasma bomb. I'd love to plasma bomb these escorts. Yeah, do it. Bye-bye, escorts. And it's the last of the defense platforms? Yeah, it looks like it. The Styx class over here. The Styx class actually does lack weaponry. It does have some, yeah, but it's not enough to really be a threat. Its main threat, of course, comes from all of those horrible little fighters it has. Um... Which I'm surprised it hasn't launched anymore, actually. It's a light hellbringer over here. I Admiral. We wait your command. Changing course. A 
Acquiring new vector. Engaging target. Are we just fixed an engine damage? Damn it. Right, you two. How long until your torpedoes are available? Yours are available. Yours are going to be available in six. Right. Get ready with the torpedoes. We wait your command. Bombers. Starhawks engaging. I want to Empress Taro you. Enemy sighted. Yeah, sticks class battle cruiser. Your orders. Right, you've been identified. I kinda want you to run away. There's no point in like letting Underway. you die. We are ready to serve. I Admiral. You come back and deal with that. Ship ready. Plasma bomb. That should kill you. I don't want to use my boarding. Bit of a waste right now. Your troops are still high. Your ship is a bit less damaged. But I would like to try and finish you off with torpedoes because it will make it a nice and quick and we can go deal with someone else. So. There we go. Good hit. Good hit. Absolutely solid hit. Love it. This is going to be a mess. I'm going to boost you a bit. Make some room. Uh, your engine is damaged. Uh, you... Oh, crap. Don't hit that. Thank you. Okay. So far, so good. Repair you. Changing course. And that's a boarding craft attack. Yeah. I'm actually going to want to pull you off the front line. Maximum burn. We serve. Right. You can be six. You can be six. Understood. I don't want you to come deal with Hellbringer. Rouse the engines to fury. Enemy sighted. Starhawks engaging. Engaging engines. Ship ready. Uh, I need you to clear my line. We serve. All ahead, full. We wait your command. Right. Fire. We wait your command. Red Tempest device. Right, they've got three fires aboard ship. Changing course. They're going to the Rad Tempest. All good so far. Aye, Admiral. You'll want to go this Have way. Acknowledged. We serve. Uh, you're actually pretty high up in strength. Yeah, we're gonna need someone to deal with you. Aye, Admiral. Right, we're going to fire our torpedoes. Changing course. Then go deal with that. Engaging. You two, go deal with that. Setting course. Engaging. Cruisers, deal with you. Right, you we stop. You need to let those torpedoes go past your bow. Maximum burn. Ship ready. Come on. Nice. Good hit. 
We wait your command. Right. Target You're not doing you. that to me. I'm a launch fighter, so you can't really do anything. Repair that. Close in for the kill. Are going to do a teleportarium attack if we can? Oh, your shields are up. Your orders. Right. Bring more torpedoes online. That's a mutiny. Engaging target. Empress Taro, you. That's a load of fires. Apparently you can have a maximum of four fires. Did not know that. Damage team, begin repairs now. Ship ready. Right, line up your torpedoes. Understood. Engaging target. Here we go. Boom! More fire. It's not like you don't have enough already. Right. Everyone after you. Teleportarium vectors calculated. Teleport attacks didn't actually amount to much. Uh, send bombers over. Repair those that need repairing. Boost those that can boost. Engaged. Underway. We wait your command. Right. Go back to normal. Go back to normal. Revere the Omnisire. Changing Wait for it. For the Emperor. Okay. Your orders? You're pretty badly injured now. Should be relatively easy. Targeting enemy vessel. Boop. Heading acknowledged. For the Emperor. Ship ready. Mutiny. And there we go. What a win. Didn't take that much damage. I thought in going in that we were going to. We did lose the platforms, but I'm not that worried about those platforms. Sure, it's 100 resources worth of platforms, but... That's actually not much damage here at all. That... Yeah, less damage, more that the troop value is going to be annoying there. But we did crush them, which is what we wanted. Okay, one turn, then we're going to attack the Agrippina sector. You're going to... Don't attack the Aeor, please. Please attack Necrons. Necrons getting so... So tough. Really not appreciate it. Uh, I think we probably just want to bring all the Space Marines over here. Unless we deliberately, like, send some of them up to Nemesis Tessera. What have you got? You've got 710. Space Station, all that jazz. We'll unlock that. I might... I'm tempted to wait one turn. Just to heal. But here's the downside. If we wait one turn, they might well just reinforce. If we go now... <sighs> We've got a lot of torpedoes. They are good against stationary structures. I think we do it. I think we hit them now. I'm probably going to regret this. I'm probably going to regret this. What else have we got going on? Over here. Uh, over here, I think we just take all the Space Marines over here. Because they don't want to be anywhere else, so might as well put them there. 
And down here, we've got a defense there. And everyone's actually in a decent position. I think after you attack here... Oh, I can't attack back. You've got way too many forces and defenses. Yeah, this, this place is just locked up. What we'll probably do is actually spend this money. Either putting in extra defenses or something. Because defenses pay for themselves, right? Provided they don't get destroyed. They're there. And you don't pay upkeep on them, as far as I can tell. So they're always there, always helping you. And they do form a very useful element of your defense. Obviously, they can't attack or anything, so they're they're locked into one way. They, they protect uh, capture points, and they capture them for you, which is really useful if you're playing Conquest. The alternative is we just spend it on upgrading. And I'm going to pick you out here. Hive World... Minor Shipyard, or uh, Forge World. Probably the Forge World, just for the extra 40. It'll pay itself back in three and a half turns. Yeah. Probably going to end up reinforcing the Forge World rather than spending it on anything else. Either way, next episode promises to be very full. But I think we came out of this episode... If not the best possible situation, certainly in a good situation. We did lose a full-on cruiser, but one cruiser and some defenses is an acceptable loss, I think. If it had been two cruisers, I'd say that would be bad. If it had been a cruiser and, you know, a light cruiser and a couple of escorts, I think that would have still been bad. I think one cruiser to pay is worthwhile. It was a Space Marine cruiser. It is expensive. But at the end of the day, I don't think we're getting out of that with any less casualties. So, for now, I've been at Elysium. Next episode, we'll hold the line. And then, we might be able to go on the offensive. We do need to do the capture points. We made the mistake last time on the objective of ignoring those. And uh, it, it went poorly for us. So, we do need to try and do these. I mean, it also requires us to have a stupid number of fleets. Because, A, we need a fleet in the sector to defend it. And, B, we need at least two fleets going to do these. Um, sadly, because everyone's got mines now, it's going to be only two fleets. Either way, I've been at Elysium. Like, subscribe, and stay shiny.